<laughs> okay, okay, Rudolph. Oh, hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Santa's Village. And it's cold out here and it's snowing. So, hey, let's go inside by the fire, have some hot cocoa, and let Santa share some brand new Christmas stories with you. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, time for another story. This one happened about three years ago that I received some very exciting and important news. <laughs> we were all sitting around the fire after a busy Christmas, telling each other stories of our latest adventures, and then mysteriously, a letter suddenly dropped through the letterbox. <laughs> now, as you know, I get millions of letters from children every year, but this one, I thought, was a little too early for next Christmas. Eric, the head elf, brought it to me and informed me that the postmark indicated that it was a letter sent all the way from the United Kingdom. Well, as I took the letter from him, I noticed that the envelope had been sealed, and on the seal were the initials E.R. My goodness, I explained with surprise, this letter was sent by the Queen of England. <laughs> well, I looked at the postmark again and noticed the letters H-R-H. Well, those of you who do not know what H-R-H stands for, I will tell you. H-R-H means Her Royal Highness, <laughs> by which the Queen is also known. Well, I, ca I cannot begin to tell you how excited I was to receive such an important letter. So, so much that, that I dropped it. I dropped it, the envelope, three times just before I eventually opened it. I, I took the seal off and well, the letter inside I pulled out. It says, uh, What has the, the queen sent? A, a letter to you for, Santa, uh, cried one of the elves. Please read it to us, another said. Uh, so without delay, I read it out loud. <laughs> uh, to my very attentive audience, I might say. Dear Santa, In my message to the Commonwealth, which was televised on Christmas Day, my husband and I included you and your elves on our New Year's honors list. Santa, you are to receive a knighthood. You will henceforth be known as Sir Santa. The elves will be awarded an OBE. That is the Order of the British Elves. Hmm. This is in recognition for all the good work you have done for so many years to children, to all the world. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Hooray, we're all going to London. <laughs> we sang as we danced around the room. Oh, what an honor. Uh, this was so exciting. Suddenly, I realized that we didn't have much time. So I ordered the elves to prepare the sleigh immediately as we had to land in London on New Year's Eve day dressed in our top hats and tails. <laughs> well, this time, we would take no chances. We would take Rudolph with us <laughs> uh, as we could not afford to lose our way and end up on the moon again. Dressed in our finest, we set off to London on New Year's Eve. As we flew over many countries, we could hear lots of fireworks from the many celebrations and parties. We reached the skies over London just in time to hear Big Ben strike 12 midnight, <laughs> signaling the New Year. Hearing the cries of Happy New Year, Happy New Year from the people below uh, in the square. And we waved at the revelers who were dancing in the fountain. Uh, before landing in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. Uh, New Year's Eve, sir, said the Queen's butler as he came to greet us. The Queen is expecting you, he informed us as he took us to a beautiful room inside the palace. If you need anything, just ring the bell. <laughs> Ta-ta. <laughs> After good night's rest, we were summoned to the palace at three o'clock in the afternoon to meet the Queen, looking very regal in her crown and robes. The queen beckoned us to come before her. <laughs> we did. As I reached her majesty, I knelt down before her, only to find one of her gorky dogs had entered the room and was sniffing the fur on my coat. <laughs> uh, soon more dogs surrounded me when all of a sudden one of the dogs lifted his leg and shook my hand and thanked me for bringing them presents. <laughs> After all that excitement, the queen lifted her sword. She placed it on both my shoulders and explained, Arise, Sir Santa Claus! <laughs> to which the elves clapped and cheered before going up one by one to receive their own medals. After the ceremony, 
we were invited to a wonderful garden party in the grounds of Buckingham Palace, where we had tea and crumpet sandwiches <laughs> with the Queen and Prince Philip before flying back to the North Pole. Tired but very happy, to this day, I still prefer to be called just plain Santa, but I must admit at times, the title Sir <clears throat> does help me get in a good seat at a restaurant. Merry Christmas. <laughs>